Hello, this is a demo on how to use the context menu in Android programming. So what is the context menu? Well, I've got the emulator up and running here. If I click the menu button, we see the context menu. And this is an area where we can put any items we like, uh, often used to switch to another screen, such as the help or the settings screen, uh, or to, if you wanted to, toggle some option or other. Uh, it's used in quite a number of applications. When it's up, we can get rid of it by clicking the back button and returning to our basic application. So let's see how we write that. Well, we've got the uh, Android um, Hello World application up in, uh, in my editor here. And I'm currently looking at the activity for the, uh, the main activity, the layout. So w let's look at the code. What's actually going on here? Well, as it turns out, the default Hello World actually gives us that context menu that we saw. That's actually created by this on create options menu. What happens is we pass in the menu that we want to, or that Android wants to, shall we say, populate or fill, and we use the get menu inflator, and then we inflate a menu. Now, where did this menu come from? Well, r.menu.activityMain, this is going to be under our resources, menus, and here's my activity main. Note it has the same name as the actual layout. It doesn't have to. There's no uh, nothing stating that it must be that naming convention. Uh, and it's kind of confusing, actually, because now we have two files with the same name. But that's what Android is set up to do by default. So I'll double click that. And here we see the actual menu options. I can look at the XML and see all the different pieces that are going into it. We can see here that the title is coming from this uh, string in my strings.xml file. I can just change it here to something else, like uh, this is a test. I'll save that file, and then I'll rerun my application with Control F11. And now it's going to recompile and redownload the image to my emulator. And now when I hit the menu button, it should come up and show me my new text. This is a test. Fantastic. Okay, so we want to do more than just put text here, though. We want to actually control what's going on with that. Now, one of the things that we're going to see is how to use this with, uh, we're going to put icons on it, and we're going to see how we can actually link it to some feedback. So let's start off with putting up another, a couple options. So going back here to my Eclipse, I could do all of my editing in this view, or I could do it in the layout view. So let's do, let's go here. I'll click on that, and we can see what's going on. So let's add two, we're going to change this around, let's add another one here uh, for, we'll call that for settings, and we'll call it, create a new one here for adding a help screen. Now when I click add, we'll see here it wants to add a submenu. Well, I don't want a submenu, I want a full item to be here. That's simply giving me this option because I had previously clicked on the item. If I go back up here, click an element at the top level, I can select either an item or a group, I just want an item. And now I've got my new item. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it menu underscore. This will be my help. Now there's a whole lot of options here for controlling exactly what's going to be displayed and so forth. What we really care about is this ID at the top that specifies the ID we can access it in the code from. I'll give it a title, which is what's going to come up on the screen. So let's say help. Eh, just good enough. And later we'll set an icon. But for the moment, let's just leave that. I'll come back up here. We've got the settings, and indeed we want this one to say settings. So, now let's see if I save this and rerun my application. We should now have two elements in our context menu. And there they both are. When I click on them, they don't do anything yet. I've not yet wired them up to do something. So let's start wiring it up. So to do that, I need to go to my Java code. And I don't actually need to make any changes to the onCreate. This is fine. It's going to actually create the menu for me, doing everything that I need to create it. But what I want is I want to have some way of handling the click events. When the user clicks on an option, I want to know I want my code to run. So the easiest way to get this code is to right click on your, uh, in your file and go down to source, which is Alt-Shift-S. I'll bring that, do that now so that it actually comes up on screen here. And then I want to say override or implement methods. So now I can select any of the um, 
methods that are in any of the base classes of my class. I'm currently derived from, if I go all this up, I'm currently derived from activity, which is derived from a few other things, all the way down to object. Well, in activity, which is provided by Android, there's the on click, there's a whole bunch of on clicks here, and this is the, we're looking now for the on option item, on option, on option item selected. And this is actually going to be executed for me whenever we have an option menu uh, item is clicked. So we're seeing here a couple things. It's going to call, by default, the super. So that's going into the activity and calling its uh, behavior. So we're going to do that to start with. Just move it up to the top. And then the return value is true or false, true being, I believe, if we're handling the event. So I'm just going to return true, indicating that, yes, we're going to handle all events. We don't need anybody else to come along and help us. So first, let's just dump out uh, the event. So I can use, I'm going to use a uh, toast message, but let's come up with a string. The message is equal to title, because I know there happens to be a title in my item dot, oops, item dot, we passed in an item here. So I can do item dot to see what uh, methods it supports. And we're going to have a uh, get title. So I get the title. And let's also add to this the ID is equal to, and we're going to pull up the ID. Item.get, and there's a get ID. That's fantastic. OK, so now I've got a string to work with. I want to do something with it. I could use a log cat, or I'm just going to use a toast. So toast.make text, and I'm going to pass in the context. I can just use this. Some text, ah, well that's our message. The duration, we're going to use the toast dot, and let's make it a long duration so we can read it for longer. And then once I've actually created it, I need to show it. So now, when I click a button, it should tell me on screen the title and the ID of the option I chose. Let's try that. Control F11 to run. It'll build it and download it to my uh, emulator. bring up the menu with the menu button, and let's try help. So the title was help, the ID was that very large automatically generated number. Let's try settings. Settings with a different number. And see here it's 184 at the end. We can see where that comes from by going under generated, R, and under, eh, where should it be now? Um, expecting it would be in here, it's one of the hex numbers, so we're looking at the menu settings. If we were to convert these to decimal, one of the, the uh, help one would be the 184. So let's figure out, well, let's do something interesting with this. Instead of just sitting here, you know, responding to the event, we can now do anything we like. So let's make it launch a new activity. So to do that, I need to create a new activity, new, and then other. Under Android, I'm going to select Activity. Yeah, let's go with a blank activity. And let's call it, for example, let's make it the Help screen. Help activity. Taking all the defaults. And I now have my Help activity. So let's change this text here. Help screen. And yeah, we'll just make it simple. So we now have the help screen. We're not going to do anything particularly fancy with it, so I'll just save the file and close that. Now, I want to figure out which, active, which um, click event I'm responding to. So I know that's coming in on the item option. So let's actually make a switch statement. So switch, I'm going to switch on item dot get ID. Uh, pardon me, get item ID. And then I'm going to respond to different uh, cases here. So case r dot id dot, and let's take the help. So now I need to somehow switch to the other activity. So I'm going to use the start activity. Start activity method is defined in the activity. And I need to pass it an intent. So an intent is how we tell Android what other 
uh, screen or activity we want to launch. So I'm going to go new intent, and then I need to pass in two things. I need to pass in the current context, so that's this, because I'm currently in the uh, main activity class, no subclass of that. And then I can pass whatever it is I want to launch. So I created an activity up here called help activity. So that's what I want to launch. So help activity dot class. I need to pass it the actual class, not just the name of the class. Control one and import. And it's complaining because the uh, in the type of application application argument for an intent it doesn't know what the intent is. Let's make sure I imported the right thing up here. Import Android context activity. Sure, and then for my start activity, I'm creating a new in. Oh, that's start activities. That's not quite what we want, is it? So I got to make sure I get the right function here. I want just start activity. Save that and see if it goes away. Yep, the error is fine. Now we're inside a switch statement in the case, so I got to put in a break here handle that. Now of course, let's just complete this. I'm going to put in the other options. So for case r.id.menu and this is going to be for settings. And now we can figure out whatever it is we want to do. Um, let's just make it change the text on the screen. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward. So I'm going to go back here to my uh, main screen. I'm going to give this an actual uh, new uh, ID. Let's give it the ID of uh, sure uh, main text. I can check in here to make sure that it actually is created. Now it's not actually creating it, so I've got to do the whole notion of saying I want to create a new ID that is that, which is going to be the same code that we would see in the other activities. So, let me just uh, double check my syntax on that. Oh, sorry, not a colon, but a slash. So I want to create a new ID named main text. That's going to be the ID for this. So now I can get that. So this is going to be a text view. Text view equals, we're going to cast to a text view. And I'm going to find view by ID, r dot id dot and main text. Now I can say text view dot set text, for example, and you change the text. It'll add, fix my imports for me. And so now, depending on what I click, it will select a different option here. Let's try it. So it re-downloads. When it comes up, I'm going to hit the menu button. It gives me my two options. Let's try the simple one first, settings. Change the text, fantastic. And we can see here the uh, toast comes up still. So if I click this, go to the help screen. We see the toast comes up as well as the help screen. We switch to the help screen. If I click back, we switch back to the previous uh, activity. And if I click back again, of course, my application is going to end. Note that I did not kill the current activity. I simply left it on the activity stack and switched to a new one. I could use dot .finish call in this uh, method if I wanted to actually close the current activity, but I don't. Okay, so now the one last thing we want to do is we want to add icons to this. So we have, if I uh, run this again, we have our menu come up but we don't have any icons that come on this. We would like to show some icons to kind of make it a bit more sp uh, snazzy. Now Android does provide some default icons that you could use. However, they claim there's no guarantee that it's go they're going to stay consistent between um, releases of the Android. So the best way to do that is to find your own icons. You can go online and find icon packs. I have extracted a few icons here from one of those icon packs. Generally the icons for the context menu are just gray and white or white and black, fairly simple designs, not really colorful. So I'm going to import them here into my HDPI, my high definition, high de uh, dots per inch. And I'm going to copy the images in. Now these images are 72 pixels by 72 pixels, which is the same size as my um, 
icon here for the launcher. The IC at the front meaning it's an icon, and we've got all these different uh, menu icons. So let's go and change one of those. So now I've added it to my project. My R file will regenerate with the appropriate values for IDs. Now here's the question. I've got these two menu, activity main underscore XML. They're both here. I could look at them, read through them to figure out which one it is. Another easy way is simply close both and then reload the one you want. So we want the main. This is the one we're actually going to display. The formatting kind of gets a little messed up sometimes, so you can go Control A, and then I believe it is Alt Shift. Uh, pardon me, uh, Alt Shift F, and it'll reformat it, giving you the nicer formatting. Let's go in here. What I want to do is I want to give it a uh, icon. So here I now have to specify the actual text that's going to give me the icon that I want. So to do this, I type in I want to access the red the uh, uh, the R file, I'm going to get a drawable, and then under there I want the IC, and this is for my settings, so let's give it the gears. IC menu, IC underscore menu, underscore gear. I don't need to dot, dot PNG it because it's stripped off when it goes into the R file. So I'll save that, and let's go to another one here. For the icon, I want to go to the R file, it is a drawable, and I want to now use the IC underscore menu underscore, let's use the light for the help menu. We're going to turn the lights on. Change, save, and now when I run, control F11, whenever the application actually restarts, bring up the menu, and I've now got the icons on it. So that's just an easy demonstration on how to add an icon to it. Again, you want to make sure that they're the right size. So for the HDPI, 72 by 72 is a, uh, a good size. Otherwise, it may draw a much, much larger icon and kind of not fit appropriately. So now when I click Help, it transitions. I go back, bring up the menu again, and Settings. Okay, so that's a brief tutorial on how to use the context menu. We've seen how to, via the XML here on the left, under the menu, what the do to the files here are used for. So it defines the different options that are going to pop up in your menu. We can see here the text for it. And then we saw how to access the menu via Java. So we created the on option item selected and we were able to process the event, doing anything we wanted with those. So here I just happened to have chosen to start a new activity and change some text. You could do any call you like to respond to the events of the user. I'll post in the uh, comments below a in below this um, video a link to the icon packs that I'm using if you want to use them. Thank you for watching.